Okay, so in today's math lesson, we practiced writing addition and subtraction expressions, which was a lot of fun, actually. So uh, let's run through some problems here. Uh, write an expression to show the sum of 7 and 1.5. Now we know that the sum means to add, so that's addition. And so I'm going to take 7 and I'm going to add 1.5. Now we also talked about the fact that there is a commutative, uh, proper commutative property of uh, of addition, so that 7 plus 1.5 may also be one, written as 1.5 plus 7, again, because, because of the uh, commutative property, okay? Uh, so both would be equivalent, all right? And as we cruise along here, we're going to write two expressions to show W increased by 4. Increased by 4 is another example of addition, okay? And that, since it's addition, we can write this, this two different ways. We can show W is being increased by 4 like this, or we're showing that 4, or W is being increased by 4 this way. And as far as a model is concerned, I would show a little something like this. I'm going to take 4. Okay, here's my 4. And I'm going to increase it by W like that. Or I can show it another way. doesn't really matter because of that commutative property. Okay, so here's my 1, 2, 3. Four, here's my W, here's my 4, and there are my models there. Okay, so for number 3, write an expression to show the sum of A, B, and C. Now, let me, uh, let me erase this and move this up a little bit. This one's kind of fun. We have a lot of variations on this guy. Again, even though I have more than one addition problem within, still that commutative, pro commutative property holds true so that I can then change the order of any of these guys, I can start with B, I can add A plus the C, I can start with my B again, then add the C, then add the A, or I can have the start with the C, add the A, then add the B, or I can start with the C, add the B, and uh, add the A. So I have six different variations on that, which is kind of cool. Okay, and let's see. So write an expression and a model to show three less than P, three less than. Now, if I were to use a value of p and so let's say p equals 6, 3 less than 6 would be 3. Now let me use a different number so I'm not using 3's all over the place here. Let's just say 7. 3 less than 7. Well, 3 less than 7 would equal 4. So I need to show that in a model, and I might actually show it with the model first. 3 less than p, which means that the entire thing, right, would be p, and I'm going to show 3 less than. All right, so here's my 3 less than. I'm going to cross those out showing that I have 3 less than P, okay? All right? And also, I cannot switch that around. It has to stay in that particular order because I am removing 3 from 7 in this case, or 3 from P, okay? And as we move along, write an expression to show the difference of 3 and P. Well, that's very similar to that. The difference is, once again, subtraction. So I'm taking 3 and I'm subtracting P just like that, okay? And moving along, actually, we're going quite quickly today. Write an expression to show 4 less than the sum. Well, this one's a little different because I'm actually going to start with, um, in this case, I'm going to start with um, my sum, and I'm going to remove, uh, let's see, so 4 less than the sum of g plus 5. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do here, okay? I'm going to take my g and my 5, and I'm going to subtract 4. Okay, now you can use parentheses in here if you'd like. It doesn't really matter because you're going to wind up doing the addition first anyway. And you may also change the order of this. All right, so any of these are fine, like this. Notice I'm taking 4 less than, which means I'm subtracting 4 from that, so, from that sum or from that total. So G, oh, I should put the 5 first that time, like that. Now, this one's a little bit different because in this one, I'm actually uh, going to remove something from the 4. I'm showing 4 decreased by something. So in this case, I'm showing the 4, and I'm being decreased, or it's being decreased, by g and 5 like this. So in this case, I do need the parentheses because I want that sum to be taken care of first, and that's what the parentheses do for me. Now, there is a mild variation on this, but the 4 has to come first. Otherwise, the answer would definitely change, but I can switch the 5 and the G around uh, for addition, okay?
All right, folks. Well, that was our deal with the expressions today. All right. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.